Hello and welcome to Pipe Smoking with Colonel Calabash. This is episode 8 and we'll start out this time with a salute to the Facebook Pipe Site of the Week. This week it is Poppin' Smoke. That's P-O-P-P-I-N and then Smoke. This is one of only two Facebook pipe groups that I know of that is dedicated to veterans. Now, this is a relatively new site, but I think it is one that will grow fast. On this site, besides posting pictures of your pipes and tobacco and talking about various pipes and tobaccos, you're also allowed to post pipes and tobaccos that you have for sale. So if you like to do that, this is a good place to do it. I will say this. The deal of pipe and tobacco sales on this is between the seller and the buyer. The actual Facebook site is just providing you a place to list it. This is a site that I would highly recommend As I say, it's a relatively new site, but I think you would enjoy it, so give it a try, and I'll mention it again before we leave today. The next thing on our program is, believe it or not, we have some good news. And many pipe smokers are probably going to be thrilled about this if you haven't heard of it. Scandinavian Tobacco Group, A.S., has closed a deal to acquire certain pipe tobacco trademarks and designs from Dunhill Tobacco Company of London Limited. This is a subsidiary of the American Tobacco PLC. Included in the deal are premium pipe tobacco trademarks such as Early Morning Pipe, Nightcap, Royal Yacht, and Elizabethan mixture. They were previously sold under the Dunhill brand and carry a solid reputation. For those manufacturers who are leaving pipe tobacco arenas, I hope we see more of this type of thing. Let's talk a little bit this afternoon about what makes up a pipe smoker. Now, naturally, each one has their own personality, but usually that personality is of knowledge, a well-mannered gentleman who loves quiet moments. Now, certainly, we may joke and cut up with other pipe smokers, but we have our serious moments, which we may discuss a new tobacco or a new pipe. We may speak with each other about music or drink preferences or even the world scene. Many times we may refer to another pipe smoker as brother in a conversation. And sometimes we will refer to him as sir. Now why do we do this? Well, my opinion is this. We know what it's like to be a piper. And we have many things in common. The differences we have are usually minor and unimportant because we're all pipers. We can smoke different tobaccos or different pipes, but we're still brothers in the pipe smoking hobby. Now, of course, we don't want to leave out something that's relatively new in a way, and that's the female counterpart of pipe smoking. So we'll just have to refer to them as sis or ma'am, I guess. That's the only way I know to do it. But they receive just as much respect as the men do. Does it matter where we live? No, not really. You can live in any country that has pipe smoking, any town, wherever you live, so it really doesn't matter. I will admit that... uh, Sometimes I expect the CIA to knock on my door because I have pipe-smoking friends all over the world. I learn from those friends, 
And it is often interesting to find out that citizens of other countries are nothing like what I was led to believe. Often, I get the idea that maybe pipe smoking might be the answer to world peace. I don't know. Maybe that's being a little bit too optimistic, but we do get along. Along with pipe smoking, many pipers have their hobbies or other interests. Personally, I like firearms and doing photography. Many of you have other interests that you enjoy along with smoking your pipe, and that probably makes your pipe smoking even better. The bottom of the line is that these things are to be a positive representation of the pipe smoking community. 99% of the Facebook pipe sites are good, strong representatives of the pipe smoking community. I only know of one that I would remove from that classification. Now, yes, like I said, sometimes we're going to joke and cut up and just generally have a good time. That's pipe smoking. But 99% of these Facebook pipe sites do represent a positive view of pipe smokers. The one site that I do not believe gives a positive view of pipe smoking is not because of the members of that group. In fact, they've got a large group and they're good people. The problem is with the admins and I have personally had problems with them. So they're kind of off my good list, I guess you'd say. Next week are some things that we're going to discuss and it will be for one thing online pipe and tobacco retailers i have a list of some very good ones ones that i would recommend we're going to talk about pros and cons nobody's perfect but we will talk about the different online pipe retailers and tobacco retailers Of course, if you're listening to this, it's July the 5th, Friday, but it was actually recorded on July the 4th. So I wish and hope that everyone had a great 4th of July and had some good tobacco and a good pipe to smoke. Another thing that we will be discussing is artisan pipes, and that should... uh, take in quite a bit because we have some great artisan pipe manufacturers and we're going to talk about exactly where their place is in pipe manufacturing as usual thanks for joining us it's a little bit short we've we've had a busy week so this one's a little short we do appreciate you tuning in and again as usual happy pipe smoking